it's, uh, I believe in the progressive income tax structure. I happen to believe I'm my brother's keeper. Okay, that's why I'm doing what I right. do with my money. I get the greatest pleasure I see my children and grandchildren grow old, healthy, and purposely. Fair enough. Yeah. And, not, giving back, and giving back to the system. Okay, and, but I don't need a wealth tax to do it. Just decide what the tax rate should be and stop portraying billionaires as criminals. That I agree with. Okay, so it is gonna, counterproductive. The American dream. I hate talking about myself, to be honest with you, because self praise stinks. Okay, my father came to America at the age of 13 as a plumber's apprentice. Okay, no formal education. He, he, he died at seven years of age carrying up a sink, a four story tenement building from a heart attack. Okay? I grew up in the South Bronx. I went to public school in the South Bronx. I went to high school in the South Bronx. Okay? Go back to the movie Fort Apache the Bronx. Okay? The opening scene is two kids throw a third kid off a sixth floor a tenement building. I was lucky. I could have been that kid. I wasn't. Okay? I then go west. I follow the vice of Harless Greeley. I go west and I go to Hunter College in the West Bronx, now called Lehman. $24 a semester, got a wonderful let wife. Question. Okay, let me finish. I, I apologize. I got to finish. Okay? I then have a short stint at Columbia Business School, opens the door to Goldman Sachs. I started Goldman Sachs with a student loan, a six-month-old kid who's 54 years old today. Right. Uh, not today, but 50 years old. And a negative net and worth. God bless you for, for, for being part of that generation. That's the American dream. And that dream is not the same today. And so the question I ask you is a different one, which is, do you, A, do you believe we need to create more revenue? Do, do, do you think that the government needs more revenue? I Full believe... Stop. Is there enough money? I can tell you, by the way... Not. By we should not be running deficits of the kind right. we're so running. So by default, we need more money, okay? Yeah, yeah. So then we have to figure out how much money we need, and then we have to figure out where we're going to get it. We're hopeless. You could take all the money away from the wealthy people... I'm not trying to take it away from the wealthy deal. people. I'm trying to figure out what's the answer. My answer is education. Hmm. The average lifetime earnings of a college graduate is well in excess of a million dollars more than non-college graduates. 100 percent. OK, educate the kids. Give them an educational opportunity. That's why I have a Koopman College. Who's paying for that? Well, the government through tax revenues and the private sector. Right. And, we're, we're, and we're spending trillion dollars that we don't economy, have Our economy would be better off if we had more billionaires. Just tax them. Isn't the world a better place because okay. of Jeff Bezos? Isn't the world a better place because of, of, of Bill Gates? Isn't the world a better place because of Bernie Marcus and Ken Langone? I don't, uh, absolutely. I don't disagree with that. The question, though, is how you're going to tax them. By the way, you, uh, the people you, you just you, mentioned, you, the majority of them actually, well, actually, uh, I would say Bezos is in a different category. But um, you look at Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, because they're giving their money away, a lo the, most of their fortune will actually never be taxed. I True think story. it's probably the most of the wealthy yeah. people that way. I, I call those guys philanthropists with a capital P. I'm a philanthropist with a small P. Okay, but I've given I've given away probably close to a billion dollars. Okay, I don't and know I that intend that's to give loophole. it all. Like, give all your money away, and you don't have to pay taxes on it. For well, what? But the, the tax rate is not 100. That's, you, that's you, what I mean. Like, I don't you know, I don't look, consider that a loophole. I figured out a long time ago. There's only four things you could do with money, if you think about it. The first thing you could do with money is you could pleasure yourself, buy art, buy planes, Whoa. buy homes. I happen to be of the view that material possessions brings with a bag of evasion. Less is more. I'm not a collector of things. The second thing you can do with money, give it to your kids. But if you have a lot of money, leaving all your money to kids is a mistake because it deprives them of self-achievement. The third thing you do with money is you give it to the government. Well, only a schnook gives the government money you don't have to give them. And the fourth thing you do is you recycle the money back into society to make the world a better place. And that's where all my money is going.